Debris field tracks to the north along the path of the tornado. That path leads right to a nearby neighborhood. West 2's Travel Island continues our team coverage there on Skyway Drive. Travel. Well, Brett, neighbors started their weekend with some manual labor, cutting up all the trees that came down. You can see just how many were toppled on this street alone, but the good news is no one was hurt. A lot of wind, a lot of thunder, but more, a lot of wind. After the storm roared through, the roar of the chainsaws began. Residents of the Wildwood subdivision had to pick up what the tornado tore down, even the little ones lending a helping hand. We just came along just to look at the debris and saw our park that we play in all the time a mess. So, a bunch of kids here, we just thought we'd do a quick community service project. The twister came through around 4.30 Friday afternoon, blowing pieces of airport hangars into their community. Here's a look from Chopper 2. Some homes lost power, but just for a short time. Trees that once stretched to the heavens now bow down in submission. How are we going to put it on the pilot? No injuries were reported, but the storm caught some residents off guard. Oh, it felt horrible. I, I was just sitting there kind of watching TV a little bit, and the lights flickered off, and I heard it lightning and thundering. And all of a sudden, this great big boom, and I thought that tree was coming through my porch there. It just scared the living daylights out of me. It was terrifying. A few homes will need new roofs, but no major damage was done. It could have been worse. You know, thank the Almighty, it could have been worse. Well, right now, the Weather Service, the National Weather Service, is working to get a team here tomorrow to determine the intensity of this storm. For now, we're live in Volusia County, Travel Island, West 2 News.